When we lose someone, we feel very alone among the living. And we've never collectively felt more alone than during this pandemic. These intimate objects give us a chance to share our feelings and stories about those who are gone, to be vulnerable and supportive of each other through our grief. When someone dies, they leave behind all the parts of their life that they couldn't take with them. Family and friends are left with the task of sorting through these objects and deciding what to keep, what to give away, and what to throw away. It seems impossible to place value on objects loaded with meaning and past purpose. As my own sister was dying of cancer during this pandemic, I was the main person to go through this process with her before and after she died. We sorted through bags, boxes, bins, and suitcases, making difficult decisions on objects that had been kept for another time, but time ran out. As Arizona came to lead the world with the highest COVID-19 infection rate, over a hundred people were reported dead each day. For each one of those people, there was a family devastated, like me, who was faced with going through their loved one's belongings and making decisions. I imagined all of the things my sister owned and had ever created being packed tightly into a suitcase and then bursting out of it when opened. I decided I needed to make something that represents and honors Arizona's COVID victims. So I'm making a paper suitcase for every person in Arizona who has died of COVID. I'm turning some of these into pop-up suitcases that include information from over 300 obituaries. I'll install these mainly at the Walter Art Gallery in Scottsdale, but also in other satellite locations where I'll host public exchanges to distribute the suitcases. The community is invited to receive a suitcase at these events with the agreement to emotionally tend to that person's memory and belongings. I hope that these events and this work will be an opportunity for us to share in the grief we've experienced over the past year. I hope it will give people the chance to think or talk about the person they miss.